Let's do it. Let's do it. Good morning, everyone. Welcome morning. back in this new session of a journey of an entrepreneur. <laughs> and I'm super, super happy. <laughs> that loving. Happy to have my friend Nadine Woods with me this morning. Uh, let me cut this. That's going to be better. How are you doing today? I'm okay. Yeah. The weather's getting better. Better it's and pretending. Better. So, uh, again, as I said last time, the, the concept of journey of an entrepreneur is obviously having an entrepreneur uh, with us um, to make small ride in Toronto and speak about his journey. Yeah. So, struggles, the experience, why decide to be an entrepreneur, what are you doing, etc., etc. So, that's going to be very fun and. Um, and people will, will enjoy. So the first question that I want to ask you is uh, present yourself and tell us about your background before telling, telling us about your company etc and your experience. So who are you? <laughs> who am I? That's a really good question. So I'm Nadine Woods. I was born in Toronto. Okay. So by background you mean educational work, yeah. everything? Yeah, education, experience. Well, I went to school for nothing that I'm doing now. <laughs> I do apply. You will understand why. Yeah, I do apply <laughs> things that I learn. You know, in retrospect, you look at everything you learn in life leads you to the path that you that you're on. Yeah. Um, but I went to U of T. So that's really great. University. I did go to U. Of T. I went to U of T, and then I did my postgrad at Sheridan. I also did like they had a joint program with Sheridan College, so I did that through U of T. Um, and I always worked. Yeah. I always worked when I was in school. And I did a lot of internships, so I like to do things in communications, in media, in which today is known as social enterprise, which back then we didn't have a name for it. It's just anything you want to advocate advocate for. Um, yeah, that's so that's awesome. that's pretty much me. And so the okay, I got the the background. So the question is, why you decided to become an entrepreneur? <laughs> crazy right <laughs> I, love I, the, myself that I love how you day. react it's natural <laughs> I ask myself that every day, <laughs> I ask myself every day. <laughs> no you know what yeah. I had an idea and I felt like it needed to come to life yeah and I was I feel as though I was the right person to do it because everything lined up that way when I had this idea okay and then at the beginning when you're an entrepreneur a lot of times especially if you don't have any background in working in other people's business or you don't have any business you know schooling yes a lot of entrepreneurs start because they had a need yes and I had a need in my business that's how I started my business so I was breastfeeding my daughter okay yeah tell us about your business yeah yeah so I create ethically made luxury lingerie for women after they have children is my focus okay. but once you're postpartum you're really postpartum for life yes so it's uh, but I really created something that just kind of satisfies that little need in between that transitional period that nobody was addressing and I was shocked when I had my daughter because you know when you get pregnant especially I was one of the first ones out of my family and my friends to have children okay um, and I was not expecting that like I got married early and I, and I totally not I, I thought I would do it ten years later really career focused and I ended up having and life my daughter, is different and life is totally different yeah. Yeah. yeah and I couldn't believe when I had my daughter how prepared I was for the pregnancy and the birth and the baby mm -hmm but I was not prepared for the recovery. Mm -hmm. And that to me was like, that is so strange and also so wrong because it robs women mm -hmm. of a full experience and what needs, you know, that time of preparation I think is the most important. And it lasts, it affects your relationship, it mm -hmm. affects your identity, all these things. So that's how I kind of got into the business. So yeah. it's, um, um, Mayana Genevière. That's correct. Oh, You're the only name. person. <laughs> yeah, because I have a French accent. French. <laughs> <laughs> That's so easy for me. Yeah. So how, how did you how did you get this uh, this name? This... Yeah, that's a great. I question. love your product. It's Thank beautiful. You. I love how you present it. Is um is so so nice. It's Thank really you. really great. Like I mean, you you take the photos or I I have somebody because I have... we're gonna share with you the link about the website, yeah. the products, etc. Yeah. So yeah, how do you get this idea? Like quick, quick, small explanation about the Maya name? Genevieve. Yeah. So my middle name is Maya. Okay. Which in you know my my parents gave me that as a middle name just kind of from our cultural background. I was grown up, I was in, 
introduced to spirituality through Hinduism, but I consider myself more spiritual, spiritual than religious. Awesome. So, but I love that name Maya because it means illusion. Okay. And realistically, we all live in illusion. Yes. That's the whole point. It's yes. like everything we see is not real. Okay. Right? And then I, the second part of Maya, Mayana, I named my daughter's middle name is Nayana, which means I in Hindi. And oh, I really thought so that nice. was a really beautiful yeah. name for the first name with meaning. And the second name was a variation of Genevieve. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Genevieve is a, it, it means Genevieve and Genevieve, it's yeah, from the same root. In the beginning, I thought it was Genevieve. And yeah. I saw, yeah, there is an R there. <laughs> yeah, because I wanted to make it a little, it's, a, it's yes. the same root name, yeah. but it means woman of the people. Oh. That's what the name means. Wow, and I Mayana thought, Genevieve. how oh. profound and deep, without having to say all those things in one name. That sounds like it's, you know, people call me Mayana. They think that's my name. It's not my name, but it's okay. <laughs> it's, it's very beautiful. Okay, Mayana Shunvia. So, yeah. so what do you do? What's the product? The what, product? Why the, should the, your customers buy absolutely and you should buy Well, it. my unique value proposition. No, yes. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> is I created the only nursing the only bra in the world you can nurse with without a clasp oh so you cannot tell it's a nursing bra it literally looks like an everyday bra yeah because the beginning when I saw the picture I thought like it's classic one yeah because the, the the picture and the image that we have for that kind of product for you know for women is not like that no fancy, it's not sophisticated it's not lingerie it's not no, color okay. and, it, and it's also very like polka dots and bows and or very sporty and it's it's just yes it, you know and that's the time when women need that well-being and emotional support the most too so yes. when you put on pajamas <laughs> you feel like you are not ready to go out <laughs> and face the world but when you have something nice wow. on you feel very different and I have a lot of women coming to me and they say I just needed to do this for my own mental health Wow yeah it's beautiful so you design the product or you yeah. work with it oh, wow I designed the product I have a technical designer who makes it function this is what she's been doing for 40 yeah, years yeah, with yeah. all the bigger companies um, but I design it and I tell her exactly how it needs to function and then we work together yes because it's a new product for her too like there's never been anything like it yes, yes. so it's about all of us figuring it out oh. together Wow. Right. You know, by the way, I saw I saw a little bit of information about your website, pictures, etc. and social media and I loved, you know, when you had the picture of your team, you know, with the with the paper I made it. Yes. Uh, it's it feels like it's, it's personal. And yes. this is what's missing actually in business. It like is. you feel like it's like so many impersonal things, you know, like you don't know who did it. Yeah, how it's like to in a machines. box. Mm. It's a cookie cutter thing. You don't know who's making it if there's no transparent, you know, chain. And, and today there's it's so much with social media and the internet and everything. There's so much transparency now. Absolutely. Right? Um, but we still don't know, like the bigger box stores, how things are being made. It's just the way it's marketed. But for us, it's really important to recognize that we hire women here. They get paid a fair wage. Wow, they good. are you know working in a very comfortable environment and we are like a family because yeah. we have women who come into the factory to get fitted sometimes wow I, fe do. I felt that when i saw pictures like it's, there's a good in french ambiance yeah yeah wow. but it, i feel like that energy isn't anything you do so, so from the people who sew it all the way to the end product when you put it on you feel that so there's a question about entrepreneurship so mm -hmm. you decide to create this company it's a long journey, right? Yes. So what are the struggles that you faced or you're still facing? Wherever, Everything, wherever always. <laughs> <laughs> Never ending. Everything's a struggle. No, you know what? That's the thing. Yeah. Entrepreneurs are people who figure out solutions. We don't look at problems. Okay, a problem, a problem is an opportunity. Okay, yes. and it's just okay. Well, I have to get it just from one. You know, like when you first start with an idea, the first thing you think of was the name, what's the logo. Yeah. And then you take the, but then your the same experience goes for bigger things. It just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. That's all. all. Right. Oh, it's yes. the same mindset, yes. right? Yes. But you're just transferring it to different things, and you figure it out along the way. Mm. And who you don't know, you get get meet people like Sophia <laughs> and all these different people who have Thank knowledge you. and strength in things you don't. Because you have to recognize you don't know everything. All right. And you're pretty much learning everything as you yes. go. And every yes. business is very unique. Yes. Right? So yeah, it's it's not it's not a straight line. It's not a straight line. And oh, I, okay. And you have to have faith too, right? Because you're doing things a long time. Yeah. And you're not seeing any results. <laughs> Nothing's 
happening. This is this is super important what you're saying. And I was about asking you what are the advice. I think it's, it's one of the, I'm also an entrepreneur. Yeah. And it's it's one of the issue of a lot of businesses, you know, before making it, before made in, making my, my business successful, it was like, uh, you cannot see the result for a long time no. sometimes. And, you have, and it's okay. There's a great book. It's called The 20 Week Year, a 12 Week Year. Okay. You know this book? No. 12 Week, are we gonna say it? 12 Week Year. And he talks about you literally, every quarter is a full year. Mm. And you have to work as though mm. every day is a week. Yes. But you have to have a goal. You have to break down your tasks. Yes. And you have to do it to you the best of your abilities. Correct. And you have to be completely detached from the result. Which mm. is so interesting. It's you have to measure the results, obviously, yes. because yes. you're not going to do the same thing over and over, right? Yeah, like if yeah. it's not working. Yeah. However, you're not. your job is not to work to solely seek reward. You have to just, you know, there's certain things that have to be done. Yes. You get it done. And that is going to move your business forward in some way, shape, or mm. form. It may mm. not be in that big, you know, one-hit wow. wonder. Wow. I love it. Right. That's so true. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It's it's an awesome advice. It's uh, yeah. Yeah, because it's it's definitely difficult. It is difficult. It's yeah. entrepreneurship is not it's not that nice. A lot of people have uh, fantasized. Very fantasized it. Yeah, it's like it's tough. It's very tough, and you have to. I think the number one thing people don't really talk about is the mental fortitude you need to have to be an entrepreneur. It's an emotional roller coaster, and you have to really be committed. You have to commit to your family, and you have to. If you're in a relationship, you need to communicate that because it's going to be a lot of years of long hours, mm. missing out on things sometimes, not having money. You know, yes, it's yes. it's a lot. It's it's not the fancy pictures of people with the private jet and uh, no. you know, and the car. Eventually, eventually you can make it. Yeah, but it's a, and it's not always for the money. It's one of the mistakes. A lot of people yes. they create a company. You know what I mean? Create a company to be to make a lot of money. I think uh, probably you can make much more money by by working. In it a, take in longer, a, I think. Yes, it take longer. Yeah. But the fulfillment on a daily basis mm. is not there. That I think is what drives me. Sometimes when I think, oh my god, what am I doing with my life? And then I get an email or a DM on Insta, and somebody says, your bra has changed my life. Like, honest wow. to God, I just feel like you need to know that, or this is the best product ever, yes. or, you know, yes. there's things that you can't put a price on that. Yes, and you understand why you really, you were, you were following the right path, yes. and why you decided to create the yes. company, etc. So even if I don't, in that small moment, I'm having a moment of like, you know, it, like, I like to say, like the universe, like it, it will say to you, it will send me a message. And I, you know, I remember one weekend I said, you know what? I'm really upset. Like I'm really done. I don't know what I'm going to do. And every day I got two, three messages for three days in a row. <laughs> wow. like, it's, okay, a yeah. it's a sign. It's a sign. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so what, what advice you can, other advice you can give, for example, or to an entrepreneur who is listening to us, you know, is thinking about, I'm, I'm, I want to, I want to make it. I want to run my business. Yes. I, I, I feel that it's the moment. What's the advice? Well, first of all, I feel like there's this big culture right now about everybody needs to have a side hustle and everybody needs to be an entrepreneur. I want people to recognize that entrepreneurship is not for everyone and being an employee is not a bad thing. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's okay. It's amazing. I can't function if I don't have employees. I love it. I need people who are going to maybe love my mission, yes. love what I'm doing, and are going to believe in what we're doing and want to be a part oh, of that. That's fantastic. Right? Yes. You don't always have to create something, you know, reinvent the wheel. Yes. That's one thing I have to say because I see a lot of people doing that. And there's a difference between an entrepreneur and somebody who is doing their business, like playing entrepreneur, yes. right? Yes. Like when, yes. when you yes. see people yes. living together and they're playing house or they're playing getting married, <laughs> like these things too, like there's a difference between you know the real deal yeah and then actually you know just just knowing and and there's nothing that's a really big thing because i find today's culture everything is about running owning your own business yeah. having a side hustle yes. you know yes so that's the first thing okay okay so now awesome. if you're ready to be an entrepreneur and yeah. you know this is for you you yeah. just feel like there's a calling yeah <laughs> and you can't ignore it. Come on, <laughs> do it. <laughs> right? Yes. Um, you know, you have to have faith, but also you have to focus on your own personal growth. That is the 
the biggest part of being an entrepreneur that? because I think a lot of people don't realize that all their fears, their limitations, their their those things show up in your business. If you don't work on yourself, it's showing up in your business. And how you are as a person is how you're going to negotiate and run your business. Mm. So your business can only go as far as your mind is open. Right? Okay. Okay. Yeah. So if I'm afraid, for example, if I'm afraid of sharing my idea this is a thing with entrepreneurs you know at the beginning they want everybody to sign an nda you talked about this yes right on the presentation i made right? last time yeah this is so true i thought about this because so many people come to me and they're like but will you sign an nda and i'm thinking i don't want your idea. idea i don't want your idea i have i'm so busy and consumed with my own idea it's a big mistake yes you're right and people it's not that we don't care but nope. we really don't have time to do that mm -hmm. And you're in the wrong company if you feel like you have to be around people yes. that you have to do. Okay, so that's the first thing is don't be afraid to share your idea. Now, with the right people. This is yes. where I say personal growth, okay? Yes. Because you mm. also have to recognize who to share your idea with and who not to. So for example, even to this day, God bless my parents, I love mm. them. Mm -hmm. But they are very fearful, you know, specifically one per one parent in particular. I'm not going to name which one. <laughs> very, very afraid sometimes, you know, yes. and rightfully so. It's only because they're concerned. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. So they'll they'll question. Oh, why are you doing this? Or why is this not? You're already feeling those things. Yes. You don't need somebody to compound the issue. Yes. So I don't. I learn. Yes. Not to share. So I don't need validation from my parents in that way. Right. Yes. I'll go to example. other people yes. that I know are going to be able to not stroke my ego, but tell me the truth. Challenge you, give you this, absolutely. That's the difference, mm. right? Oh There's yes, difference so in, true. And the company you keep is so important because mm. the further you go, are ahead in your business, if you're more in an operational, you're gone past the startup and things are real, getting real, you know, you have to start to get a board together. Yes. All these things that people don't think about. You need to start creating pitch decks. You need to start really looking at your strategies in terms of like, what are you, you've, you've set up the business now, right? Yeah. Um, that requires a whole other level of skill. And you have to recognize where you are lacking. Mm. And also that you have it in you because you've gotten this far. So a lot of people have something we call fraud complex, right? Yeah. You go into a room and you feel like you don't know anything mm. and you feel like you're an idiot. You're, yeah, <laughs> you're, yeah, you're a scam. Like, yeah. <laughs> people will discover that you're- And you feel embarrassed to ask anything. Yeah. Let me tell you, most of the people in that room, they are feeling the same way, okay? Yes. And it's better for you <laughs> to ask what you feel is a stupid question. Yes. Oh, okay. Wow, that's great. I, I love the advice. Uh, well, it's um, it's very. Um... So, come back to your product. Okay. So, a question. I don't know if you need something about. If do you have any need? There's someone here with the magic box, etc., or magic advice or magic connection. Yeah. Are you looking for something for someone for? What are your needs? If you have. Yeah, for sure. We're always looking for people with skills that we don't have, that we don't even know we don't have. Mm. You know. Mm. I'm learning all the time certain things. You know, just a few years ago, I learned more and more about digital marketing. Yeah. Right? And understanding the whole process and recognizing how much information Facebook really has on everybody. That is very disturbing. Like when I looked at that and just even the different things that I don't know, I'm not very um, web savvy. Mm. Like I'm not, I'm technically fine. <laughs> Like I'm very good. I don't have any issues with that. You yeah. know, like social media, that's not an issue. But the actual business behind it mm -hmm. is very different. And mm -hmm. so, yeah, I think we could definitely use, always use help with marketing and awareness. I think that's one of our biggest things. And one of the things we were talking to you about, we were having a hard time with is for us, awareness is a little bit more difficult because we are more, um, forward in our presentation of our product mm -hmm. and Facebook and Instagram has not caught up yet because society hasn't caught up yet so for example in digital marketing I can't really promote a breastfeeding picture because people either Facebook either blocks it okay even though they say it's allowed okay really yes oh, interesting or somebody will flag it and say it's inappropriate 
Okay, so okay. you have to be careful about the image. Right? Yeah, so right. this is interesting because we're living in a digital age, but some things you can't always do in that realm. Hmm. You have to find other creative ways ah, to market. So yes. So if if you are that person, contact us because we're we're doing it now, but we can always use brilliant minds, more mm -hmm. people together, mm -hmm. you go further, right? When you, Absolutely. what's that African proverb? Yeah. When you're alone, you go fast. When yes. you're together, you go far. Absolutely. Yeah. And so, how can people find you? Because we're going to share the information with them. Yeah. How can they, they find you? Oh, they can find us on the website. Okay. That's for sure. If you're in Toronto, we do um, in-person fittings. So we have a personalized. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. always fun because women come in. It's one-on-one. -on -one, it's super special and specific to you. Here in Toronto? Yeah. So you can come Fantastic. into the factory and, okay. and get fitted. Okay. Um, but if you just want to reach out, you like what we're doing, you can always message us on Insta. You okay. Can send us a message through our intake form. We're gonna share the link also. Yeah. So can we? If I if I'm, uh, I don't know, from the other side of the globe, and I want, I'm a woman, I want your product. Yes. Or I'm a man, I want to offer that product. Yeah. I can offer it, right? Yeah. So can I? Do you ship uh, in different countries? Yes. Or? Oh, cool. We actually got our first order from Kuwait, Kuwait last month, and I look at other brands like I've never shipped there. Okay. And other brands never have Middle Eastern countries. I don't know. I guess because you can't ship there, mm. or there's a challenge. I know. I know. I used to live there sometimes with the customs. It depends. Mm. But um, we shipped it, and she got it, and she was so happy. Wow. And that to me was like amazing. I mean, we've shipped to Australia. Um, and to a few countries in Europe, which is a little bit more common, but that that was our r real first. That was exciting for us. Wow! Yeah, that's, uh, that's fantastic. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm very happy. Thank you very much for your time. Oh my gosh, my pleasure! It Thank was, you for having me. I was hope it was super, helpful. Ah, uh, yeah, it was yeah. super super great. Awesome, awesome. I loved. I hope you enjoyed it. Yes, I as did. I enjoyed. I I really loved that. And the advice were, the advices were. Really, really great. I mean, well, I it's, so. uh, it's yeah. very important. Done. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a good day, and we're let gonna share with you. Yeah, let us know how you like it. Leave a leave a comment. Yes, leave we'll a comment. Answer. We're gonna share the link of uh, the website, the social media of uh, Mayana Genevieve, and uh, oh, you like the accent? Like yeah, Mayana love it, love I'm it, very love easy it. for me. I'm gonna record you to do the, all the ads. <laughs> I, I could be uh, the guy. No problem for that. I will do it for free. My yeah. pleasure. <laughs> and I love what you're doing. It's really, really nice. It's great. And um, and uh, yeah. See you next time. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Hi, everyone. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you're interested about joining me to speak about your product or services and let the world know about it, uh, don't hesitate. Comment below or send me a message just here. Uh, again, if you're an entrepreneur, we have a solution for every problem that you may have. We have this virtual incubator, Loza Institute. If you are in very, very early stage with a very limited budget, we help you to grow by getting five stars advice from experts who made it without paying a fortune. We have Loza Media that helps you to grow and boost your business brand and generate leads. We have Loza Connect, connects you with um, business partners, investors, associates, uh, you name it. In short, we have solution for you. We have a lot of solution for you. So I'm looking forward to see you soon. Stay tuned and don't hesitate. If you need our services, send, you, send us a message. Have a good day. Bye.